mentioned last night saving bullets with Bobby. Is, yep. is that going to be enough? 10 pitches here, 15 pitches there, as opposed to you know, having to take, take some time off? I think so. Because, I, I, I mean, where we're at, uh, we're in a good spot with Bobby. I, I think that the question is, how do we continue to remain in that position? So, um, in any year, absolutely, I think that'll, I think that that could work. How far down the line did the conversation get about possibly shutting down? How much of the last couple starts kind of giving you guys the confidence? Like, all right, he's he's a good spot. He's sort of I, I think it's a it's a it's a larger conversation as far as uh, medical, uh, player performance, coaches, front office, and everyone getting together and talking and, and coming to a consensus that it's good to keep him going. Did As you like that? To, I mean, you shut him down for a week or more, you may not get the same performance. That's right. Back. Yeah. And you have a young player who's clearly got some rhythm, uh, confidence, and managing pitchers' workload, as I said last night, it's not an exact science. And so to kind of just take it off the table that he should be shut down for a couple weeks uh, with nothing that supports that. Um, it just didn't make a lot of sense to all of us. So as opposed to having him continue to run out there and gain information, gain experience, and, and see where that takes us. And you've run into this a few times in the past. If you clinch early, does that change the equation? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that you know, for a young player that potentially could be as he put it, a count on guy. Um, you got to get experience. And the only way you do that is pitching or taking at bats. And so um, this is a crash course course for uh, Bobby, you know, because we're, we potentially could be counting on him in the postseason. So uh, he needs as many repetitions or innings as he can have, in my opinion. And has that picture changed at all? Is his role in the postseason starting to grow in your mind? Yeah, but it's uh, it's up to him to continue to make himself a bigger part of that picture, you know, because, you know, other guys have had track records, which should be of importance and of value, um, but you can't argue the arm talent. Um, so now, you know, it's up to him. Did you like that Bobby Yarbo piggyback last night? Is that something you might use again in the future? Um, I did. Um uh, you know, it's all, it, it, it's, it's, it, it's difficult because, you know, Bobby's important, Ryan's important. Um, you got to be mindful of, if you are going to, you know, cut Bobby short to, for it to make sense. And uh, I don't always want to be in that position where you're doing that uh, uh, premeditative pre uh, all the time. Um, in certain cases, it makes sense. Last night, it made sense. Hey, I have a dumb one for you, but in addition to sort of all the sacrifices the guys are making, does baseball lend itself a little bit to I mean, a psychological contagion? Like, things are going good, you need to the spread? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's like anything. Um, but uh, I don't know if it's the, uh, the chicken or the egg, but... I do think that if you have high character guys that uh, care for one another, that play the right way, I do think that that manifests good play and also uh, fends, uh, fends off some of the lows. So the lows, uh, the valleys aren't as deep or as long.